Hey guys, my name is Dave, and happy Star Wars Day for those who actually celebrate it. Um, in spirit of today, I've actually been binge-watching the original Star Wars trilogy and the... Well, okay, actually I've been binge-watching episodes 1 through 6. I don't really been... I'm not going to watch 7, 8, 9, not because of the fact that I didn't like them or anything, and a lot of people don't. I've got that rare opinion where... I don't hate them, but I don't think they fit well with the story. Um, so I just ended up binge-watching 1 through 6. I actually started at midnight, kind of got early sleep for it, just because, why the heck not? Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, yeah, that was kind of intriguing. And since we're on the talk with Star Wars, I actually do kind of want to talk about like the, the, the things I find interesting about it. And I'm going to make this a brief video, maybe a few minutes, that's about it. I think the main thing that I find interesting is just the, how things kind of developed and changed over time. Like, episodes 1, 2, and 3, I still remember before episode 1 came out, episode numbers weren't even a thing in the series. It was just Star Wars, um, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. I mean, Star Wars was printed at the top of the VHSs, for those who actually remember, but... The main title wasn't big, bold letters compared to the others. Um, I, I, it doesn't feel like too long ago where that was the case, and it's interesting to reminisce back. But I also remember when I was much younger, I would, I, I remember when Phantom, the, the Phantom Menace came out, and it was in theaters. I remember my dad taking me to see it, and I, I was like super hyped for it because at the time I was a big fat Star Wars geek. That and, I believe, Harry Potter. Because I was reading a bunch of the Harry Potter books, but that's kind of irrelevant since it has nothing to do with Star Wars Day. Um, but I do remember after watching episodes 1, 2, and 3 as well after that, I actually kind of... I don't know, for some weird reason for the longest time, episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, kind of grabbed my attention. It was one of those that I actually really thoroughly would have chosen over the other six, which was an, or the other five, I mean, which was an extremely rare opinion at the time. Currently, I think people have grown to appreciate episode three a lot more. But with that being said, they still don't seem... No one, almost no one on the planet likes episode seven, eight, nine. Um... Which, those are the only three I'm not going to binge watch. Not because I, again, not that, it's not that I don't like them. I think they're okay. Um, they're, they're, they just don't match the story as well. It's like they're trying to twit. It, it felt like the presentation, not the performance. Um, the presentation, though, that was trying to be shown by uh, Disney at that point in time, I feel like they were just trying to bring back things to the point that wouldn't really make much sense. I think that's kind of the major reason why a lot of people didn't like episode 7, 8, and 9. They, they just kind of took away the charm, I guess. It wasn't intentional, and I mean, in my personal opinion, the presentation could have been better, it could have been laid out or presented differently. Um, the performances, though, I can't deny, I actually did enjoy the performances. You could tell that, at least I could tell that the efforts that the actors and actresses in it were doing what they could to do their best to perform off of what they were given. Now, this doesn't make the ex this doesn't excuse the fact that they weren't they just weren't good Star Wars films. Now, that's the main thing, though. They weren't good Star Wars films. In my opinion, they were good movies, just not good Star Wars movies. If they had like their own thing then sure, it probably would have been great to see because it would have had a different circumstance, different theme, and they probably could have actually gotten a lot, a lot more um, good publicity off of it if they actually did their own thing rather than trying to add to Star Wars. Now, the performance, on the other hand, I actually did appreciate, which is, it, I don't know, it got me, what nagged at me is the fact that the movies flopped. Everyone knows this. Everyone doesn't like them. And yet, it was... I don't exactly know how this happened, but there was a large rumor 
maybe it was actually true. I'm actually not sure because it didn't la it didn't last very long, uh, so probably it wasn't. But Daisy Ridley, the actress who played Ray in Seven, Eight, and Nine, there was like this large rumor that went around that said she got blacklisted. But I know for a fact that can't be true. I mean, sure, that's the only Disney thing she's in. But when you get blacklisted, you're pretty much you you don't get recommended to anyone. No one hires you. Nothing. But, I mean, recently I was actually watching some stuff and actually also playing a game where Daisy uh, Ridley was actually one of the major characters. And because of this, I, I, I knew I recognized the voice I went into. I was like, why do I recognize that? Ray, that's why. Uh, I was kind of surprised by it at the time, but now I'm just like, huh, well, so much for that. I, I just don't like the fact that people hated on her and it wasn't the general public who did it was everyone a lot of people like looked at it and went why she doesn't deserve that she got a lot of backlash according to the rumor but and, and I don't know maybe it was news if it was it was news that was so faint that it almost went away instantly um but the interesting thing in my opinion is more the fact that even with that subsided, there were still left, like, th there are still questions that were left out, out out of the blue light. Episodes one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how it should have ended. Why the other three episodes? That's the big question there. Why? The six episodes create a definitive perfect story. Just the three original movies created a perfect story. I get why 1, 2, and 3 were made. It was to answer some questions that were like, wait, what happened? Like, the Clone Wars, for example. Who knew about the Clone Wars back in the... Like, how much did we know back in the 80s and early 90s? Almost nothing. And then 1, 2, and 3 came out, and, ex and then the Clone Wars series came out, and it was like, oh, that. Okay. I don't know. Skywalker Saga, everyone... <laughs> And I did say I was only going to go for a few minutes. It's been a bit longer, but... Plus, I should probably get to binge-watching some more. I need... I never started watching Mandalorian. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. Not just when it first came out, but recently as well. So I do need to get to that. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I don't know if you agree with anything I had to say about this. Uh, give it a like. Let us know in the comments below. And if you have your own personal opinion, as long as you keep it uh, welcoming, why not let us know down there as well? In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Uh, thanks again for tuning in to the video, guys. And may the fourth be with you all. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>